Hey guys, I wanted to give you an intermediate quick quick look at the um, <coughs> player here. I know you, <coughs> if you saw the first video, um, I had taken it apart. This thing looks like it's built really well. It has oil filled capacitors. I don't know, maybe somebody can tell me what these guys are here. Some type of condenser, that's a copper strap. Really cool, look at those monster resistors. Look at those five watt resistors, three, four watt resistors. Anyway, built really well. The problem that was wrong with the, if you remember from the other video, the, um, the meters, um, of course, they just had foam behind them and the foam is gone. So they actually work uh, good. And uh, the backlight, I think is good. We'll check and check and see. So I'm gonna get some, some insulation or foam or something put back in there so they'll be right where they're supposed to be. They, they work. And the backlight, I'm gonna lose this gasket. As you can see here, they are real light bulbs. Um, those just have a red cover over them. And then here, uh, man, that unscrews out of there. That's a real screw-in light bulb. I know, I haven't really seen any like that. I've replaced a ton of these in stereos and um, you know vintage stuff. This thing looks like it's built a lot like a Pioneer um, stuff. You know, of course, it has this gold type of metal that you see in a lot of the stuff from uh, Japan from that era that's made uh, really well. This, you know, the selectors, that's the same brand there. Um, I can't pronounce it, but it's the same ones I've seen in um, the Marantz and Pioneer stuff. But uh, I think the boards have a lot of copper on them. I believe they're Elma also. But the problem I'm having here um, is a lot of the glue is failing and the parts are failing like that. So I've got to get some new stuff for back in here. This bulb wasn't working before. It was all corroded down in the socket. I took it apart with my little cool little um, brush here, wire brush, cleaned it and put the meter on it and I'm getting continuity. It's a 24 volt DC bulb and I'm getting, I'm getting continuity on it now so I cleaned inside the socket and put it back together. So I think we're gonna have that and I won't have to put some LEDs in there. So that's gonna, that's gonna be cool. Um, um, this, this is the screwy pot here. I haven't even looked at this yet. That one's got a, um, a piggyback on it for a, you know the power off and on, which is strange. But there's the power off and on. They're nice and solid. And there's places that I can get in there and clean them. I, th I think that right there is going to be... I'm going to have to tighten that up. Let's see if the other one does it. Yeah, it does. But I guess that wiper is not going to touch right. But I need to clean it and try to bend it. There's a lot of <coughs> neat little stuff in here. Love the way they use real screws to screw everything in on the switches. And there's a long belt that runs down uh, to the tape counter here. Focus, please. Anyway, um, these belts are tough. I tried to pull on one of them and break it. They are strong, really strong belts. And it's cool because when they're when it's disengaged, there's no pressure on them at all. Like just like a Kirby vac, just like they should be. So I'm gonna um, put some um, not lithium grease because that gets hard, but I'm gonna try to find some. Um, I think I've got some grease that I'm gonna put on on all these pulleys and all these um, points that move and stuff and clean the contacts and get it back together. Um, I think I calibrate it pretty well. One problem is where the, the erase head and the play head here, they were dirty, I cleaned them. Like I said, I've got to put the glue, the epoxy, the pads back on, which I do have. I'm gonna take them off and re-epoxy them on. But this glue here is failing. So look what happened. The thing moved in their sockets, which is kind of strange that they'd just be glued in. But I guess that's the way they did it on a lot of the stuff I took apart in the 80s. So what we're going to do is clean those. I know where it goes because I have one here. Um, put a little pencil mark or something. Clean them. Um, clean it all up good and then use some of this killer epoxy here. Uh, it's five minute epoxy. And then I have some of the, uh, I think it's made by Denlin or somebody. Uh, <clears throat> if you ever really want some awesome epoxy, um, I mean, if you really want some awesome epoxy, Okay, you ain't gonna find it here. Uh, I think it's in that box underneath that heavy Mackie and that reel to reel. And I'm not moving all that right now, but Devon or Devcon, Devcon, Dev, it's Devcon. It's really, really good. Two part boxy, two bottles. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that pot there. And if not, I'm gonna have to check the value on it. And I have some Central Lab ones from leftover from a long time ago. So let me go ahead and show you. I don't want to bust these. 
meters, but without making this video too long, let me try to tilt this up here. And, um, babe, will you point this <coughs> at me for just a second? It's recording for YouTube. <laughs> Real professional here, guys. So, uh, thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. I just want to, very handy to have for cleaning, too. Got these from her dad. Awesome. Um, wanted to show you the back real quick. This thing is built like a tank. It says 68, 729.68, so I guess it's, I guess that's your date code. But I wanted to show you how it's built. It looks like it's Japanese. Thanks, babe. And uh, here are the motors. These are not like the shallow pole motors. They are, um, I'm not really sure. They're square. I guess that's just. I guess they are shadow pole motors in. Anyway, whatever. But these are aluminum fans, so pretty clean. I've done a little bit of light cleaning in here. Doesn't look like it had a lot of use. Decent sized transformer. I would have thought it had been a little bigger. <clears throat> the um, main capacitors are under here. Um, haven't heard of this brand before. You, not Union. And then these are oil filled here, as you can see. It says oil on the bottom. I guess I don't know if you can see. Hang on. Yeah, right there. Focus, please. It's not going to focus. Yeah, it is. Xeron. Anyway, kind of neat there. The way they did that terminal strip there is really cool. Looks like ABS plastic or something. And then I guess those are the uh, switches to sense when it needs to be, when it's slowing down or not. Big switches in there. Big, heavy. Um, I guess they're pot metal, you know, and that's where you drill it out, you know, at the factory to make sure it's perfectly weighs the same all the way around. You just drill a few spots, and that's where they number it, and then they put it on the machine, and by the number it stops at, as you can see, this one was between 12 and 13. That's uh, some just machining stuff there. My father-in-law's a uh, tool maker. He knows all about all that stuff. So, so there's your um, capacitors, and I was thinking, there's some caps I could use for the Philco. 30 working bolts. Uh, no, 2000 micro. No, that's not going to work. Anyway, so another board up here. I guess that's the preamp board. You see the transistors there, left and right. Uh, I think that goes down. Yeah, that's the preamp. Look at all the copper on there. Isn't that neat? That's, uh, that's look how there's my finger. There's a lot of copper on that board. Pretty thick, you know, but nice bra standoff brackets. Um, really thick frame. This thing's like tankish. And as you can see, these spin opposite one side of the tape or the other. I thought it was cool that it had two separate motors. And the mechanism is just, geez, I've never taken anything apart that was built like this as far as reel-to-reel -reel tape decks. I don't know if Mr. Clyde Slide's going to be impressed or not. Um, but uh, not sure what that is. Oh, I think that's you know, a magnet that, that cleans the static from the signal that comes from the, uh, yeah, there's your left and right. Yeah, I had broken this because I, I got some of those real nice connectors and I had run it earlier in the other video and I broke this but I was able to crimp it back in. need to put a little epoxy behind this. I need to, let's see, yeah, that'll clean that up. Um, this was, the only bad corrosion in this thing was on the bottoms here and there's none underneath but it's just here and here so I uh, cleaned that off. Got this to go in the drill which works pretty good. The round ones work better but that one is pretty beefy there. And then um, Painted it with some uh, quickie redneck paint, a super sized black marker, and uh, that's it. So you've seen it all. The next one will be it operating and recording. Uh, it, you know, if you, if you want to see it, you want to see it. Trust me. And uh, look at the frame. I mean, look at this thing. It's just crazy built. I mean, all all the mechanism. Look at this thing. It looks like some of these parts are stainless. A lot of tape build up on there that needs to be cleaned off. Yeah, I'm going to have to do all that. No. Well, that's not where the tape goes. Actually, that holds on the uh, covers. But anyway, here's the, here is the guy. <laughs> wow. I was very impressed. The neatness of it. You know? To be 1968. It's all solid state. But look at how thick these brackets are, man. I mean, this is my finger. They are massive. I've never taken anything, wall and sack or, or any of that stuff apart that was just built like this, man. I mean, this is just amazing to me. Big fat springs. I mean, it doesn't look near as tough 
on here as it is, but yeah, this is just very kind of complex you know, as far as what it could be. You can see there the pads, and those are going to be um, fixed. Awful lot of play in that. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like that needs to be further. Awful lot of play there. I'm going to have to check into that. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but these are, watch, nice and soft. Everything turns nicely. All the mechanisms operate. So I'm just going to grease the grease points with some good grease. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll do an operating video next and record some good music on it. Check it out. Say goodbye.